Hey guys, Bellatrix Pretzel here. Thank you for joining me for another speed build. So this is Floral Cottage. Um, it came out to 278, 471 simoleons. Um, did I say 278, 471? If I did, I'm sorry. Um, let's restart this. It came out to 278,471 simoleons. <laughs> it's a three bedroom, three bathroom, and uh, it was built on a 40 by 30 lot. Um, so I'm sort of absolutely obsessed with this build. Um, I The garden portion of this build is really what took most of my time. I actually built um, the beginning of this um, sort of exterior basement room that sort of is another garden before even recording just to make sure I could make it work um, and I, I did make it work how I wanted it to it just took a long time um, essentially I used the foundation as well as the basement level to try and level the terrain um, so to speak in a way that you could do in The Sims 3 so to make it look like they didn't just live on a flat piece of land. Um, so what I was trying to do right here is put as many plants as I could and as many as I needed to make it look like it was um, slanting downwards into this flat external courtyard area. Um, so I'm lining the walls up with plants. I add a bunch of flowers and... Um, I go back and forth between this and other parts of the house because um, sometimes I just needed a break from all these plants and the blending. Um, but I think I ended up doing a half decent job sort of covering up the harsh wall look and making it look a little bit more natural. Um, at least I hope I did. <laughs> it took so many plants and I'm honestly surprised that it did not um, cost more, like the house did not cost more than it did based solely on the fact that there are probably hundreds of plants. Um, yeah. And at this point I was very upset that we did not have a very, very, very tiny green fence to try and blend in the white part of the wall better. Um, I ended up having to very annoyingly place plants in the absolute proper area. Um, yeah, anyways, so the outside of the house is covered in blue, light blue sliding, and the windows all are all uh, made of, well, the frames are all made of wood, um, so, you know, I wanted them to be brown, I wanted this to be a very nature-y looking family cottage, um, so it's a very traditional exterior, and the interior, I feel like they're sort of in the process of renovating a little bit so some of the walls have a very traditional cottagey feel to it with the wallpapers while in the kids room um most of the walls are just flat colors and anyways you guys will see what i mean when we get to the furnishing part of this video um for now i am still working on the exterior uh so that little balcony deck thing is uh, is the front entrance. Um, it also ends up leading to the backyard. I do put stairs there for for them to be able to get to the backyard. Um, and over here, this little bit of foundation is my second piece of trying to make this look like it had multiple terrain levels. So it's sort of the opposite of that underground courtyard sort of thing. Um, where I'm also trying to blend this out, but I also wanted the Sims to be able to walk through this area, hence the stairs. Um, yeah, so I fill this area up completely with plants, and it ends up blending pretty well, and I do put a couple of benches in there so that the Sims would be able to sit comfortably and just explore all of the many plants that are in this build. Um, yeah, and here I am just playing with terrain paints, throwing in pebble walkways, um, which I think is really, really cute. It leads to every single set of stairs you can get in the house, to the downstairs courtyard, and to the um, foundation courtyard. I was really, really upset, though, that I couldn't use the foundation paint, uh, not the foundation paint, the terrain paint, 
um, on the lower ground even when I took the flooring off. Um, I would have really liked to continue the, the pebble walkway. I think it would have been really, really cool, but um, I was not able to do that, unfortunately. Um, so the top and the, uh, and the roof, essentially, um, in the attic, I should say, is where two of the three bedrooms are. Um, and then the master bedroom is on the ground floor, as well as the kitchen, living room, dining room, and a little uh, library. Um, yeah, so here I was just working on the floor plan, and it stays pretty much the same. The only thing I really change is the location of the doors. Um, yeah, and I did not put any curtains in this build. Um, I tried some out for one or two of the rooms, and I did not like how it was looking, so I just stopped. I just gave up on it. Um, and here I was trying to find a way to fill up th that, you know, that same white section with, um, a between wall, uh, uh, I don't remember what it's called. You know, those pieces of trim I can wrap around, you can wrap around the two different, um, between floor one and two in the walls on the exterior. I was hoping I would, I would be able to do that with this area and blend in the top of the wall, but it did not work, so... There goes all of the plants. Um, it's very repetitive, so I do try end up putting a bunch of like flowery bits everywhere just to try and break up the green to give it a little bit more interest and to not make it look so similar all around. Um, yeah, so here we go. I'm starting with some blue and pink flowers and a couple of purple ones, white ones at the bottom over there. I do work more um, in the bottom bottom area later on in this build, um, and well, I just I just jump back and forth between everything and the floral arrangements. So sometimes I just need a small break, or sometimes I would stop recording, take a complete sim break for thirty or so minutes, and just relax, get this out of my head, um, because blending this out was very annoying. <laughs> um, yeah, here I'm filling up this other area with flowers, taking a break from the giant courtyard, um, trying to fill it up, blend it out, because right now the flooring, you know, I'm using the the grass flooring and it just, it's very flat and uniform, so I was trying to break it up and make it look a little bit more interesting by adding plants pretty much absolutely everywhere. <laughs> um, I honestly have no idea if your sims can even walk in this area and sit on the benches that I end up putting later on. Um, but even if they can't, it still looks very, really, really nice. And there's plenty of, m there's plenty more outdoor seating in the downstairs courtyard, um, as well as on the balcony deck area. And by plenty of seating, I mean three benches and chairs around a table for barbecue. That's, that's a decent amount considering. It's a four-people household. Um, yeah, and here I was just having fun with plants that did not need to be so blended in. And I could just go crazy with flowers and not have giant bushes everywhere. Um, I was just really happy about that. Um, so here I started to put in a fountain, and then I decided to turn to a pool. I was hoping I could just go over the edges again and just turn it into a pool, but I needed to actually... Start from scratch, what kind of sucked, but hey, whatever. Um, so you have this really interestingly shaped pool here. I think it was really cool. It just made it look more... I find the, the weird shape of it made it blend in better with the whole floral, natural aspect of this build. Um, so there's that little... Those little stone steps to get in and out of the pool. And then flowers all around the edge of it to try and blend it into the floral escape like it was a natural bit of water like a pond or something even though it's a pool I was like why not just make it functional for them to swim around in you know <laughs> where's the harm in that um yeah and here I was just trying to decide the kind of wood I wanted through my cottage um and I decided to use multicolored ones I found it just looked really really nice and it just helped with the whole flow and look of this house um yeah Oh, and I do end up messing around with the 
roofing section so that I could actually see properly into the rooms and that when you guys actually do your gameplay in this house, if you guys decide to download it, um, whoops. I didn't realize it was time to meet the family, so here is a picture of the unfinished house so I don't ruin it for you. Um, what I was saying was I messed with the roof so that when you guys download this and when I build, you guys can actually see the walls of the bedrooms in the attic and see all the detailing I put there. Anyways, it's time to meet the family. So it's time to meet this Friday's family. Um, so this is Leslie Pickett. Um, she has the freelance botanist aspiration. She's a bookworm, a foodie, and a creative sim. Um, I would like to see her in the um, critic field of work, specifically a food critic, considering the fact that she's a foodie. Um, and that she'd be gardening a lot on her free time and maybe even painting a little bit. Who knows? Um, so let's just, whoops, did not mean to do that. Um, let's just take a quick look through her outfits. So this is her everyday look. It looks very comfortable. Um, I really like it actually. And I love her hair. Um, I love the hairstyle. Honestly, that came with this new, um, the fitness pack or whatever. I, it's such a simple ponytail, but I think it's adorable, and I love it. Anyways, moving on. Uh, we have her formal, her athletic, her sleepwear, her party wear, and her swimwear. Next, we have her boyfriend, Wendell Wilkins. Um, he has the bodybuilder aspiration. He's active, creative. And he loves the outdoors. So in my head, he's going into the sports career. Um, he also has the you know creative trade. So maybe he also does some painting on his free time or some writing or who knows. Um, loves the outdoors. He's the kind of guy who'd probably drag his family out camping um, every chance he got. So this is his everyday outfit. Here is his formal, his athletic, his sleepwear his party wear, and his swimwear. Next, we have Leslie and Wendell's daughter, Serena. Um, so she wants to find her soulmate. She's active and she's a geek. So she definitely takes after her dad and in the sports aspect of life, but she also really enjoys playing video games. Um, so this is her everyday look. Here is her formal, her athletic, her sleepwear, her party wear, and her swimwear. And then last we have her brother, Andrew Wilkins. He has the computer as aspiration. Um, he's a genius and he's a music lover. So this is his everyday outfit. We have his formal, his athletic, his sleepwear, his party wear, and his swimwear. And that's it for this family. Let's get back to furnishing the house. All right, time for the furnishing. Um, so here I'm starting off with Serena's bedroom, the teenage girl. Um, I put that same bed in every single one of the rooms. I feel like the canopy look just fits in really, really well with this type of house. Um, so I used it in all of the bedrooms. I just changed the colors up, obviously, to give it a little bit more of an interesting look. Um, so she has that little seating thing, the lounging chair. I really, really like how it looks. I just did not like the placement of it. I felt like it really needed to be on the other side of the room. Um, so I just moved everything around and I'm actually so much happier with the setup. You know, with this tiny change just made it so much nicer. Um, so Serena is a jock, but she also enjoys playing video games. So I wanted to... I kept that in mind while furnishing it, and by that I mean after furnishing I kept that in mind while creating her sim, because um, I, I do the entire house before I create sims. So up here I decided to put a TV that I angled towards her little seating area, and she has two gaming consoles under that. Um, she also has a yoga mat so she can practice her wellness scale and her yoga poses and um, while it's not technically a sports-related um, activity, 
in the sim skill section i found that it really worked for the type of sim that she was um yeah and here i am just adding a couple of m more decorations to the wall um i did not actually give her any gaming posters i didn't feel like she was the kind of girl to have that up on her wall um but she did have a couple of sports posters as you guys can see all along that wall and then she has some makeup some maybe body lotions some perfumes i don't know what um yeah so here is where i was trying to mess around with the curtains trying to find something that fit but i just was very unhappy with how it all looked so i just sort of gave up on the whole um curtain idea next up we have andrew's bedroom so he is this super computer nerd um so i gave him two computers he can practice his programming skills and everything on there um yeah and then he has a lovely little, gu little guitar as well as um a little uh radio you know some speakers whatever um because he's really into music uh yeah so those are the items so he can enjoy that aspect of his personality. Um, I also managed to fit a little piano, which I was really happy about. Um, I really loved that they gave us the electric pianos. I'm so happy. And here I was just trying to find a bunch of clutter to put on his dresser, mainly a mixtape, because um, it was music related. And then I found those headphones, and I was like, this is perfect. Um, I know we have those earbuds now with the new stuff pack that just came out but i didn't use those in the build i figure we'll actually make him buy them <laughs> it's the kind of thing he'd spend his money on um yeah and here i'm just trying to i really had a hard time finding wall decorations in this build um there aren't that many up but so many of them i feel have too much of a modern look for them for this type of cottagey house um so that really that bothered me a little bit, but I may do. I think I figured it out pretty well. Um, yeah, in this sort of landing area, I keep it really, really simple. I put one or two things up on the wall, and I put one or two um, little flowers. So just to fill it up a little bit. There wasn't much room to put anything, so just trying to make it look pretty. <laughs> uh, I mess with, around with the idea of putting runners, and I don't end up putting any. I just leave it like that and here I start messing around again with the roofing um, essentially I just started by putting it back and then I decided you know what I'm gonna create a whole different idea for the roofing so that you guys can actually play with the walls up um, without you know being completely blinded um, so I just put a triangular roof at the top and then two angled ones at the sides and those little white borders were really bothering me, so I needed to get even more creative with the roof and have three all the way at the top so that the exterior ends could be boarded while the middle section connected to the half roofs didn't show um, the border. Anyways, moving on to the floor plan of the basement. That does change later on when I begin to furnish it, um, and you guys will see that soon enough. Um, I work on the bathrooms first because, as you guys know, I hate bathrooms. They are very annoying. Um, and this one down here, I pretty much just used every single new bathroom item, uh, from the fitness pack. Um, I really, really, really liked the bathroom items that came in here. I love the look of the wood. I think it's just really, really cool. Um, so yeah, I used it in that area. And there is a gym down here, so... I think that worked out pretty well that I used those items. Though I have to say, I was very upset that I could not use the rock climbing wall in this um, in this build. Because I wanted it to be interior. I didn't want any of those gym items, the sports items, to be outside. Um, but it was not... Um, sorry, the rock climbing item was too tall to fit into the basement um, and yes I could have changed the wall height but then I would have had to go back and add more plants and edit the exterior courtyard even more and I was not ready 
to tackle that. <laughs> I just, the prospect of that depressed me to no end. So I was like, nope, we're leaving this at the same height. They just won't have the rock climbing wall. Unfortunate, but anyways, I mean, there's plenty of room in the backyard left so that if you guys download this house and you want that item, you can go ahead and um, put it in uh, and use it. Yeah. Anyway, so I've been doing a lot of houses lately that have used pretty much every single pack. Um, I think I will, either next week or the week after that, I'll have a medium-sized house, um, probably no more than 100,000 simoleons worth. Um, that'll be base game only or base game and one additional pack compatible. Um, so that if any of you guys don't own all the packs, you can still download the house and get every single item that I put in it. Um, yeah, so I'll either do base game compatible only or base game in one pack or maybe two. We'll see. <laughs> but I won't go crazy with using every single one of the packs, um, no matter how much I'm tempted to. <laughs> um, yeah. Anyway, so this is the master bedroom. Um, this is for Leslie and Wendell. They are technically not married. Um, what am I saying technically? They're not married at all. It has nothing to do with technical or not. Um, they're boyfriend-girlfriend. They're in a long-term committed relationship. They have kids. They just didn't want to get married. So that is why. Um, but Leslie is very into plants. You know, she wants to be a freelance botanist, or that's her aspiration anyways. Um, so I wanted to make sure that their bedroom was filled, filled, filled with so many plants, and it is. Um, and they have this little reading nook area, very comfy looking seats, a computer on a desk. Just, I keep it pretty simple. I don't fill it up more than this. I put one or two things up on the walls just to add to the decoration, but the windows take up most of the space. So I was really happy about that actually because I didn't know what the heck to put up on these walls. So the fact that there wasn't much empty space just made me really, really happy. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the master bedroom. I had the wall paint, um, which is very traditional cottage feel to me. Um, and that was it. And next, I am working on the living room. Um, I had a surprisingly hard time with the layout of this room. It's such a normal looking room, but I think it had to do with where the entrance was placed. Um, that just made it hard for me to organize properly. Um, I do think I did a really good job in the end with how this room and uh, looked in the end, but I had a tough time with it. I'm actually... Looking back, I'm getting a little depressed, so I want to go look at the screenshots by myself while I'm doing this voiceover to try and remember what it ends up looking like. Um, if only I could find that. That's the entrance. Um, these images are so very tiny. Did I not take photos of the living room? Oh no, there it is. Oh yeah, it does look nice. Okay, moving on. Um, well, that's pretty much what it looks like, but with a couple more decorations. Um, yeah, like a nice big orange rug f for there to be a little pop of color. Um, magazine rack, because, you know, who doesn't read magazines while watching TV? I don't know, I don't. I don't own any magazines, I don't have any subscriptions, but I always think that it's a nice detail, um, to add to the room um yeah anyways how long is this okay still still like 10 minutes left of this um i'm already <laughs> i'm out of things to say which is why i wanted to know how much time was left to this um i just i need to come up with like 10 more minutes worth of nonsense babble anyways here's a little library study whatever area. Um, two very comfy looking couches, a bunch of bookcases, a nice fireplace. Um, and I wanted to put flowers back there on the bay window and just fill that area up and it did not let me so I put these um, tables. And honestly they don't look 
very nice. I find it looks kind of awkward, but I really, really wanted the objects uh, up there. So if you guys don't like it, just delete that section, put the couch back against the wall, and I promise you it'll still look great and still look nice and fully functional, just not as decorated. <laughs> Um, and here we go for the kitchen dining room area. It's a very long, narrow room, um, but I'm able to fit every single plant that I want, every single decoration that I want, and yeah. Here, the um, parenting pack and the items really, really came in useful for this room. It's pretty much filled with items from there, um, and it just it worked out so well, I think. It looked very nice. It had the perfect cottagey feel. Um, yeah. <laughs> so there we go. Just trying to get the cabinets to look just right. And I decided that my original look of them was fine. Um, yeah. So two sinks because all of my houses lately have had two sinks. Um, it's, it's something that I really, really want in a kitchen is two sinks. Honestly, two stoves or at least two ovens would be really, really nice, but you know, I'm not that picky. Um, anyways, just filling it up with appliances and a couple of decorations. Um, moving on to wall decorations. So I can have pots and pans up there, knives, stirring spoons, and just have a nice, fully functioning kitchen. Um, and on this wall, I just, I needed to fill it up with something. I did not know what to put, so I put those three images of food, and in my head, because I did make a painting studio in the basement, um, I figured, okay, why not, we can just say that one of the sims that lives in here, um, painted those or drew those and put them up on the wall, you know, <laughs> give it more of a homey, homemade touch. I don't know. <laughs> um, so this is the entrance area. Uh, I was huge. I did not know what to do with it. Um, I guess in theory, if you wanted, you could actually just full on fit another bedroom in that corner. Um, so if you guys download this, uh, house and this family, the parents could maybe have another kid and that could be their bedroom just here in the corner, um, because it is a nice big empty space that can easily be turned into a nice little nursery or something. Um, and it would really help fill up the space with something other than pretty much useless seating, because I don't see any reason why the Sims would really just sit around and lounge in there, um, especially considering the fact that they have a library, so a nice little seating area away from the TV. Anyways, so here I am starting to work on the basement area, which is originally just supposed to be an art studio and a home gym. Um, I do change that around a little bit when I figure out that I can't use all the items I want to use. Um, so I split that big room in two, and you guys will see what I do with it very shortly. Um, so first I begin by working on the gym. I put two treadmills, uh, <laughs> two of those other machines, and two punching bags. I was really upset that my room wasn't long enough to fit a bowling um, track thing. Whatever. Um, I thought it would be really, really cool, and I just I didn't really want to make the basement any longer. Um, I know I could have very easily, it would not have affected the outside of the house, but I did not like the thought of having a basement that was that big. Um, and honestly, the bowling activity was not needed, so I just didn't bother adding it. Um, so yeah, one of the final rooms is a bar, though I do switch it to the bigger room because it was just a little too cramped. Uh, cramped. There we go. Um, so we had the bar area and then two added island counters. And then I put two bar height um, tables and I do put a couple more stools up there. So if you guys wanted a party and do you want an area to make strings, you have that with plenty of seating for up to eight sims, which is a decent amount. And I mean, not that I really throw parties that often in the sims, but I never invite that many sims over because it's just too complicated and too full and too much to clean up after. Um, yeah, and here we go. We have the painting studio. We have two easels and a bunch of blank canvases as well as some that have already been painted on. Um, and then we have those skateboard boards that 
you know, maybe it was an art project at some point that they'd be painting on. I just thought it was a really cool uh, little wall decoration. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty much done the furnishing of the house. I'm just... Oh, there's still the backyard, the outside furnishing to do, actually. Um, so never mind what I was going to say. Uh, here I am trying to figure out what I'm going to fill these empty spots with because I've already used pretty much every single piece of furniture in this house. Um, and yeah, pretty much used every single piece of furniture available. Um, I've, I've definitely used pretty much every potted plant. Um, but I still needed to fill it up with some decorative items, so more plants it is. It's a bunch of sunflowers, because why not? I actually did not put any sunflowers in the garden. I'm really, really surprised about that. Huh. I feel like I should have had sunflowers. I feel like it's so perfect for a cottage. Anyways, moving on. Um, we have a barbecue and a nice six sim table uh, for everyone to sit on and eat that lovely barbecue food. A little two-seater bench with a nice little coffee table so you can also eat your barbecued food up there if you wanted to if you had more sims over. It's just additional seating. Um, a bird bath and here I go back to not knowing what to add. Um, and yeah, I'm adding more flowers, trying to just blend it out more. Um, now I'm lighting it up. And I feel like it's still just too empty, so I put a little fountain in the corner there. And I'm like, okay, that's just enough stuff. I'm, I'm done there. <laughs> uh, and here I'm adding some benches, some seating area throughout this area. Like I said, I'm not completely sure if Sims can even walk in that area and sit. I did not test it out. Um... But it looks really pretty regardless, so I left it in. <laughs> and yeah, this is the part where I really did not know what to do. I added trees, and I was like, okay, well, what am I going to put in this backyard? There's this big empty spot. We already have a gym. We already have a pool. Like, we already have a barbecue and seating area. Lots of seating. Um, and that's when I decided to put the planters in so that Leslie could plant her own vegetables or fruits, herbs, flowers, whatever she wanted, you know, um, and still looking a little empty, I put a basketball hoop in there, and then I fill the rest of the empty space with the pebbled walkway, because, well, I needed to fill up the space, and it was visually pleasing. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's still a little bit of room in the backyard if you guys wanted to add a chess table or the rock climbing wall or even more plants <laughs> or if you guys have custom content with more activities you can obviously fill that up or if you had a different house and uh, sorry a different family for this house and you wanted kids in there you could still have room for the monkey bars um don't think you'd have room for the playgrounds though i think those are too big um yeah, I add an extra little table in there, just to try and fill up the area a little bit more, because it still felt a little empty to me. Um, but, yeah. There we go. That's pretty much the end of this build. Uh, after I do the carpeting here, I think we get into the screenshots. Um, yeah. Let's, let's find out. It looks like we're going to the screenshots. It doesn't look like I have time to do anything other than had these carpets so yeah there we go there are an army of screenshots of the exterior of the house because it's sort of this whole house this whole f feature of this house was the outside it was never meant to be amazing furnishings it was all about having an amazing outdoor garden experience so i needed to capture that with as many photos as i need as necessary as i thought necessary um yeah so just a bunch of pictures of the outside, and then we are working our way in there. Um, so if you guys like this video, please do give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe, check out my other videos, leave a comment on what you thought about this video, if you have any positive feedback, negative feedback, whatever, anything you guys want to say, leave a comment about that. Um, in the description below, there's a link to where you can download this house, this family, and everything else I've ever shared on the gallery. There's also a link to my Facebook page and to my second channel where I recently posted a new video. Um, so yeah, check those things out. 
and enjoy the rest of the screenshots um, in awkward silence. Let's be honest, it's just going to be silence because I don't know what else to say. Uh, so I hope you guys have a wonderful day and thank you guys very much for watching. Bye.